this is make or break for the season, baby. Come on, man. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another day in the life of the Leeds United simulation only, live simulation only nowadays, career mode. We are just near the start of the season, so we've got a lot to play for, but it's going to be a massive day. Last episode was crazy in terms of just the player sales throughout the summer, not just Kai Havertz going for 82 mil or whatever it was to Juventus, but just nutty sale after nutty sale after nutty sale, which makes me very excited to go into all of our league games because we get to go see what all the new teams are looking like. You know, who are Man City starting 11? We've got Spurs up next and then Liverpool right after. So it could either be a very rough start to the season or who knows if we can get some results here. Spurs aren't doing that great. I mean, they're only two points off of us, but Liverpool top of the league uh, undefeated right now. So it's going to be a busy episode. Uh, if you guys didn't catch up with last epi, I would highly... Oh, well, there's a bit of a spoiler right there. Um, I'd highly recommend you guys at least pause and go watch last episode because we did some amazing business. We have a very... Not a strong squad, but we've no, we're now starting to pick up a couple of the big dogs along the way here. January, I'm hoping we can get maybe one more addition to the squad. We're going to try and steal Alfonso Davies from PSG come January. We, we have the funds for it. So, by now, I'm hoping you have already watched uh, the episode. So, here is the squad layout that we're going with. So, we picked up Zorro uh, on a free transfer thanks to the Twitch chat. He's now up to an 84 rated Four star, four star beast. Now, we didn't go over the squad in terms of their abilities and stats and growth and whatnot. So actually, why don't we do that for the for the start of the epi here? Um, there it is. So we'll go all the way to our at least our starting eleven. And you can see where they stand. So Halland is already up to an 85. Wow. Uh, he might only have gone up to 85, but his stats have actually increased very nicely. So up to 86 acceleration. 93 sprint speed so amazing i'm actually thinking maybe we work on his dribbling because he is a bit clunky on the ball like watching him play he makes amazing runs shows for passes makes amazing shots and passes himself but he's a bit clunky on the ball so i'm wondering if we sit there and put a little bit of time into uh his dribbling where is it at specifically so 82 ball control see 73 dribbling is horrendous 90 finishing is amazing. 93 shot, shot shot power, shot shower is amazing. 83 long shots is great. It's just that dribbling, man. That dribbling and 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 ball control. Where's the balance and agility at? What, what are we looking at there? 69 balance and 77 agility. So we got some work to do. Yeah, the balance we're not allowed to improve from there. Uh, in terms of Zaracho, so again, he's our central cam. A few people have mentioned that in terms of the real life Zaracho, he's definitely a talent and whatnot, but he's more so of a almost a, a Luka Modric, for lack of a better word, but a box to box, like a creative deep lying midfield, similar to along the lines of what we're trying to do with Bliska. So, a lot of you guys have suggested I actually switch up the formation and maybe use him a little bit deeper. I'm enjoying him right now as essential cam. I think he's doing very well. And as you can tell via uh, at least his, uh, you know, pace stats and agility and dribbling, he's absolutely fantastic. 83 composure is great. But to be, yeah, to be fair, his defensive stats aren't horrible. So it's not a bad idea of maybe over time looking to develop him into a box to box mid because Bliska is taking so long, albeit he's very young. He is taking a while uh, to develop for us. Nevertheless, um, I'm loving Zaracho. He's very good. Jonathan David's still out for God knows how long. So that's going to be uh, frustrating and annoying. But when we get him back, it'll be like a brand new signing come February or March or whenever he comes back. Um, Calvin Phillips, still absolutely fantastic. Up to an 82 now. His jumping is going up, which didn't ever really need work. But it is going up. His balance is up to 77. Everything else is kind of standing uh, the same. Great stamina, great strength the sprint speed and acceleration we've tried for a while to boost that up it hasn't really been boosted at all ball control going up who cares about crossing defensive awareness is up by a bit dribbling is up by a bit slide tackle standing tackle um and long passes improving are all fantastic i would love to work on the acceleration and uh, sprint speed unfortunately that's not totally possible Frazier growing a little bit too, not in terms of his actual rating, but in terms of some of his stats. Nothing crazy there. I, his stats still mean that he's going to be great for us. Bliska has made some uh, leaps and bounds. So as always, for a box-to-box -box mid, the low high work rates, 
not the best it'd be ideal if he was high high but five star four star in terms of skill moves and weak foot and then his acceleration is really really good meanwhile sprint speed is getting a bit better stamina is improving so we've done very well on his stamina i think now up to 71 stamina is nice still not great by about the 60 or 70th minute uh he's a bit of a nightmare the, uh, the best part about this entire card is we need him as a box of box mid and he has the most canadian stat ever 35 aggression i love that um anyways his standing tackle slide tackle are improving still not great but improving his finishing and dribbling and stuff are improving even though we're not really working on that uh long shots are going up which is good as a box to box but ideally that defensive awareness is is needs to be into the 70s which is a big big problem and a lot of you guys are saying don't worry right he's 18 he's 18 very similar he's he's following a very similar career path to alfonso davies right comes out of the academy not in terms of alfonso davies from vancouver canada you know over to over to byron and all that stuff but in terms of his like growth as a player so he started out meant to be an attacking minded player either a wide left player or central attacking player started in his like the youth academies like that and then we realized how good he could be if we used him in a more defensive role of course fonzie is a left back but you know Bliska is going to be a more box of box mid. So I just, I like his career path and very similar to uh, Pierre Rogerson as well. Started out thinking he'd be a good right back for us, but with those stats, the height, the medium, medium work rate, left footed too, we needed a left footed center back. So we decided to, to develop him into a center back. And my God, what a center back, man. 82 sprint speed, 71 accelerations. Okay. Um, balance isn't great balance. Is that where I am so bad with this stuff? Do you guys know if there's, if you can even work on the balance? Is that possible? I, I keep forgetting. Anyways, that's pretty poor for a six foot tall only center back. 61 balance is awful. Other than that, I think he's fantastic. 76 interceptions, still not ideal, especially when you look at his other defensive stats. I, 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 it's, I feel like we're going to get his standing tackle to 99 before we even get his uh, interceptions into the 80s. His aggression is nice. What about his defensive awareness? Yeah, his defensive awareness is nuts. It's just those interceptions gotta keep working on those interceptions um there isn't a training for balance yeah that's unfortunate so you gotta almost hope that the game naturally increases and develops um the balance so for me the two main focuses and of course i think reactions is similar i don't think you can work on reactions but those are the two issues for him at center back right now interceptions of 76 and reactions of 70 I don't think jumping being relatively low or even where's his heading accuracy. I don't think that's that good either. Yeah, 75 heading accuracy. None of that matters because heading is so broken in FIFA 20. But absolutely, uh, the composure, interceptions, and reactions are poor. Especially once we start pushing for, you know, if we can, Premier League dominance. We're going to need a little bit more from him. Nubel is, 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 is okay. He's probably not progressing as much as I was hoping. Like the 68 handling hurts my brain. I, I don't understand how he's developing so well, but his stats are so skewed. Like he's a 79 or 80 rated player, but that's only because his reflexes are insane at 92, yet the rest of his stats are so bang average. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm controlling him, so who cares? Ben White, doing absolutely fantastic for us up to a 79. Love his stats overall. Wish he had some traits, but um in general he's great man he really is the 84 reactions are huge a lot of people pointed out on stream while watching the live sim games not only are ben white's reactions good but like his defensive positioning is crazy does that just come down to the 82 defensive awareness i don't know he's got less defensive awareness than rogerson but he's always in position to make these huge tackles so i'm, I'm loving ben white the way he's developing kubo still early stages in his development it seems to be all speed and dribbling that's improving for him anyways uh what about his shooting yeah like ugh. shot power of 70 absolutely not great 70 finishing absolutely not great um we're having some troubles with kubo too similar to how we had with ben rama right he's not doing much in fact i think another thing that you guys are interested in is us looking at the stats right i don't really show you guys the stats very well so that's another thing i've been reading via Twitter in the comment section is you guys want to see the stats even at the end of the episode or at the beginning of the episode so we can have an idea who's scoring who is in who's getting assists you know who has a good match rating so we'll have a look at that stuff real quick too I just wanted to have a, a little peek um Adam Jackson is doing very well is progressing very well I wish he had four star skills 
and maybe a more a higher attacking work rate. But other than that, man, he's basically the Canadian Kubo for us and developing probably better than Kubo, realistically. Um, you know, his finishing is almost the same as Kubo. I believe his shot power is almost getting there. His long shots, I think, are better than Kubo. Uh, the only thing is Kubo's pace and, and dribbling are a lot better. So let's go over the stats real quick and how do we go via goalkeeper just strikers or do we do this i guess that would make the most sense so in nine games um five premier league appearances though two goals and one assist in the prem i think that's probably the most important right the europa league howland is kind of taken by storm right now three goals four assists kubo one goal and one assist in five games in the prem uh zaracho in five games, two goals, two assists. So like I said, he's doing very well for us as essential cam. Ryan Frazier's got two goals in the Prem. Not doing much in terms of the Europa League, but still, he's getting he's getting the things that we need uh, via the Prem. Cunningham, I believe this is all Europa League, right? Yeah, these uh, the, the youth players are all Europa League focused. There you go. One goal for Cunningham in four. Uh, Van Liu, who's our wide left player, two goals in four. Ryan's got a goal. Where did he score? Did he score for us? Oh, yeah, you're right. We did a quick sim for the Moose Cup, didn't we? Dest has got a goal in... Uh, okay, the 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 pre the preseason game. These guys out on loan. It'd be kind of cool to see how these guys are doing. You know, when you click over a play... Or maybe, I'm, maybe they're just not playing. Is that a thing? So, Hoekstra, will we eventually be able to see, like, what where he's featuring? No, right? Because this is just showing Premier League, Europa League, and whatever. Whereas he's in France. So, that's crap. That's something else I think you should be able to go and see how your loaned out players are developing, right? Wouldn't that be a nice little addition to the loan system? So you can decide like, hey man, this is a young talent. He's fantastic. We, It's not like we sent him off on loan to Chelsea. Like he should be freaking starting. He should be starting for Brestois or whatever. And then if he's not, in January, we can call the loan back and, you know, Put, put him somewhere else. Like the lack of understanding and the lack of information within a manager specific career mode is so dumb. And it's been dumb for 10 or 11 years, right? Which I think is silly. And everybody's now going to say, ah, you can do that in football manager. Cool. I'm playing career mode because I like the presentation packages. And just because you can do it somewhere else doesn't mean I should be fine with EA not doing it with career mode. In fact, it makes me more mad that EA isn't doing this stuff with career mode because they make a trillion times more than anything football manager can do. And yet football manager has the more deeper stats and, and all of that stuff. So here's hoping for FIFA 21 to be a little bit better. Anyways, there's the review on the team. I think from here, we are just going to get into the gameplay, man. I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm sure you can tell I'm pushing off the gameplay right now. Um, Purely because I know we could end up here on two losses to start off the epi and that's going to piss me off. But let's get into it, boys. I'm going to bring back the alerts too in terms of audio. Uh, Mr. Bobson and Zeddy Rock and Cam, thank you guys all for the resubs as well. Appreciate you, man. Up to 16 subs on the day already. You beauties. All right. So uh, the Twitch viewers got to see the beautiful Premier League presentation package. But I wanted to show you guys as well on the YouTubes. Uh, our team, Unchanged, of course. And Spurs... Oddly enough, it's now 2021-2022, our second year in the Premier League, and Spurs, in for, at least for this career mode, have been three years in the Prem with 99% the same team. Their bench is all regular players, and the only player they've picked up, I think, in the last three years is Zinchenko as a left back, which is hilarious because Spurs have five left backs right now in their club. I think Kane might be their only striker and stuff like that. So that's yet again something I find a bit weird about um career mode is the transfers make no sense like juventus spending 200 million on three right backs like what what right spurs having bought a left back to add to their five or six left backs in three years so i hope again for fifa 21 the transfers make more sense i think it would make this like the career mode we do a bit more fun too right where every year you get to look at a couple of new big signings added into the teams is this gonna kick off boost oh Oh, wait, what? Didn't that go in the net? Hush. Hush, hush. Hold on. That looked like it went in and out of the net. No, it didn't. We're fine. Just relax. Everything's fine. This happened the last time we played Spurs. We battered them for the first 30 minutes, and then they beat us 1-0. They Mourinho'd us. Ben? Four. 
Have I played Fall Guys yet? Dude, have I played Fall Guys? Me, Nep, and Zwei played Fall Guys for one hour yesterday, and I got two crowns. Two crowns! Unlucky Bliska, nice try. So, I'm basically the best Fall Guy player in North America. It's fine. You know, sometimes we all have different gifts. No, oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. Rogerson, are you serious? We're just talking about his interceptions and match awareness being a bit weird, and there it is. Look at Rogerson. What is what? What defender on in any and even Sunday league would give up a runner to try and close down a guy in ball possession with his DM right next to the guy in ball possession? That might have been Harry Kane. I, Harry Kane will create goals. From much easier chances, man. What the hell? It took away nine and a half hours to get his first crown. Yeah, baby. Like I said, I'm just gifted. I'm just like a really good gamer, dudes. Unless it comes to managing my team against Spurs. And for some reason, I can't do anything. I don't think we beat Spurs once. Brian, Is Harry Kane actually on six goals already? What the heck? Phillips. That's it. That's game. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. We just we just got Mourinho, dudes. Wait, we genuinely just got Mourinho. That's insane. For the third time in a, in a year and a bit. Holy God, man. I can't believe that. Just insane. It was all really the first half, unfortunately. I I whatever. We move. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, welcome to the Premier League, Leeds United. Good lord. 57% possession, 91% pass accuracy, 8 shots, 6 on target, and we lose 1-0 to Spurs' 1 shot and 1 bit of possession, essentially. <laughs> For oh, oh, well. What can you do, man? Uh, we just, for some reason, Spurs are a bogey team. Super weird. Absolutely nuts. I can't even be, I can't even be mad about it. All right. Sure. I feel like, I mean, we drew, right, to QPR last time around, so we're probably going to take a loss here. Oh! Wow, Shackleton got a N28 red card? Love N28, Dear love God. N28, love. Taylor injured, too, bro. Come on, man. Anytime I quick sim, we take injuries. Callum, thank you for the three. Appreciate you, brother. Um, let's just fast forward. Amazing performance from Halland? What is that news? Oh my god, we're going to Anfield. God help me. Have you? Uh, have you been good lately? Seven days. All right, Taylor's fine. Shackleton will miss one match. That's also even nearly back. No, he's out for another like four or five months. Goes to show how desperately we need him, though, man. I like. I, it's nothing against Halland. I, I realize Halland is he's only one player, but honestly, Jonathan David last year was single-handedly scoring. We're whipping in crosses. He's like diving between defenders, smashing the ball into the net. Whereas Halland is like trying flick ups and bicycle kicks, man. I don't know. Halland's like going for the flare, whereas whereas Jonathan David was just killing himself to get on the end of the ball. For goals. Absolutely insane. All right. So I got to show you guys again the starting lineup. So there we are, as always. Oddly enough, Liverpool look really weird. So Sardella at left back. I don't know who that is. Lovren back in the team with De Vries on the bench. Kind of a mad one from Jurgen Klopp. Uh, Jesus Corona was one of the best players we had to deal with the last time we played Liverpool. So he's insane at right back and a great replacement for... Um, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, who went off to Juventus for like 80 million. Fabio, uh, Naby, Wijnaldum, Mane, Bobby, and Salah is all pretty standard. But yeah, the, the bench is really weird. I, I don't know if Klopp thinks we suck or, or what the deal is, you know? Wait, Xavi? <gasps> oh! oh, it's 6 p.m. Oh! Oh, EA just tweeted that Xavi is going to be an icon too. Oh, that's actually insane. Well... There you go. Here it is. You get a little update via the career mode for every bit of 6 p.m. content that EA drop as well. Holy God. I actually love the new look of the uh, the icons too. 
I hate myself so much for being excited about this stuff, man. The problem is with how idiotic passing is in FIFA, a Xavi, it'll be so hard for you to actually do what Xavi sh did. Does that make sense? I hope. I hope they fix passing so that you can. But it's EA. His pace will be trash. He'll have, for, for some stupid reason, terrible stamina. And all of his stats will be where they, sh you know, where, where maybe they should be in terms of passing and creativity. And because the game is so broken, it probably won't even result in anything good. Nevertheless, Xavi is a cool one. Um, I do like that. I really do. It's going to be like Pirlo, yeah. Pirlo was fun to use. His moments card was very, very fun to use. Alan holding on to the ball too much, man. Play him, play him, Sarancho! Okay. Is Alan making a run? Please! Mamacita! Oh! Kubo, what? What am I watching? Oh, man. We might have to go with a defensive counterattacking setup more often. We went all out attack against freaking Spurs. And just like happens in Fut Champs, we lose to one depth drop back counters. And now we're doing the counterattacking. And we're one nothing up. Dude, this, this career mode is way too emotional for me, man. I can't even deal with this. How does Kubo beat Fabinho to the ball there? That's mad. Okay, Kubo. Just like we were calling out Angel Gomez last season for not showing up, and he scores a huge goal. Kubo's turn, baby. Okay. I can't wait for Liverpool to get 17 pens against us. So the match has restarted. One nil here. No. Calvin's got this. That's it. That's game. That's game. Let's go, baby. I don't know what the hell just happened. We just spurs Liverpool. We just mourinho Liverpool, dudes. Legit. one nothing win at Anfield. Although, you can't deny the fact that we got battered all game in terms of possession and pass accuracy and everything. So, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. After getting a frustrating loss to Spurs, we somehow go to freaking Anfield and get all three points. Mourinho ball. I had to do it, man. We had to go on ultra defensive, especially after that Kubo goal. Just a minute. Yeah, let's uh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I'd like to get through the group stages for sure, because you get a good chunk of money, right? Making a deep run in the Europa League, home game. We might be able to beat Standard Liège if we quick sim it, but I I'm more. Okay. Oh, this game is broken. But anyways, I thought the game froze. I'm more concerned with injuries more than anything. See me cast his quality. That's a player Liverpool picked up, right? <laughs> hey, Nick, love the Leeds career. I think so. And I know everybody wants me to put like all the special boots and untucked kits on the academy players, but not until they secure themselves in the club. Not until they secure themselves in the club, baby! Let's go! I think Adam Jackson has earned a Nike boot sponsorship just off of that. There it is. Woo! Ah, give me a hug, buddy. Canadian on Canadian love, eh? Beautiful. But that's what we're gonna do. That's why Bliska and Rogerson have like custom boots and kits layouts and stuff like that. It's because they've earned themselves the chat. That is kind of an unrealistic goal, but we'll take it. They earned themselves the opportunity. Let's go, boys. All right, we're going on defensive now. I gotta hold on to this. I don't think I don't think Standard Liège have it. Uh, oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? We'll save the forward. Outside of that, we did very well. Adam Jackson, man of the match, clearly, because he scored a goal and then that delivery was insane. Four star weak foot, right? Just three star skills. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Another three points. Top of the table with six now. That's huge. That is huge. Fans love it. All of that without the main squad. Only Calvin Phillips having to come on. All right, so it doesn't even show the offside. Yeah, great performance. Young Guns coming up big. Cunningham got the assist as well. Oh, did he? Yeah, he had a great game. So any any surprise results? Feyenoord 2-1. Galatasaray winning. Lazio winning. Uh, Gladbach winning. Okay, so it looks like still the main teams are going to go through to the knockouts. Time for a Quality too good, you know? Uh, satisfied with Klee? Sure. Sure I am. Rangers lost? Did they? 
I didn't see. Where did you guys see that? I, I missed it. Your team scored the decisive goal. Time to focus on the next match, as always. Did you? Really? Rangers lost. Was the win ever in doubt? I trusted we'd give it our all. Sure. Cheers. Thanks. Okay. Cool. That's great. How, how import a team sheet? Ah, yes. There it is. Is it this easy? Seriously, and I have not done this before. Wait, do I need to do anything? Oh, wow. We can just legit do that. So there it is. Um, Jolatin is now at Southampton, 79 rated. Adams is still there. Redmond, Ward Prowse is up to an 82. Look at Hoiberg, 83 rated. That's pretty sweet. Jene, uh, Caldrim, Stevens, Hodit, Cedric, and then McCarthy. Again, you look at this team and think, okay, we probably should be dominating these guys, right? Cool. So that we are absolutely, that's the new, that's the new upgrade for, uh, this career mode. So now we're just going to get into the game. And you guys, I think, will probably just see the first goal or chance, whatever Armalika feels like doing. Uh, Andrea, thank you very much again, man. Appreciate the uh, the eight months. All right. Here we go. Come on, boys. I think playing it through the middle will be good since uh, Southampton are running that 4-4-2 setup. Come on, Kubo. Okay. Zaracho. Pal. No call either. Horrible. Play him in! Oh, he's offside. Unlucky. I don't know, man. I don't know if I need a top quality goalkeeper. If I'm the one in control, right? The mistakes and or the saves will just come down to me anyway. So I think Nubel and Mathis are fine for now. We got really lucky developing Mathis. This is beautiful. Oh my god. One more! Okay, never mind. I, I was hoping Kubo was going to sweat that across. Because Helen made a beautiful run, but... Kubo is insanely selfish. And we got to give him some love and credit there. That is still a very good goal. Beautiful 1-2-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two, one, two. Well, Look at that. All started and finished with Zaracho playing that ball in. Good goal. Really, really good goal. I'll take that. Keeper should not get beat near post there, though. That's poor. That is poor. He was also covering the near post, but whatever. We'll take it. Redmond. It's Ward Prowse. Nathan Redmond. James Ward Prowse. Probing away, working away. Oh, that's good really play Prowse. though from Southampton. What are we doing here? <gasps> oh my god, Des, that's so dangerous. We gotta watch out for Hoybier, Grilly, and Jolatin, I think. No! That's a hundred percent a pen! Oh my god, Rogerson literally just murdered Jolatin and didn't touch the ball. I thought for sure that was a pen. If that was Cooper, that would have been called. Yo, man, I think this ref likes Canadians. What the heck? Oh god. Oh my god, we're going into very dangerous tackles. Was that Bliska? No, that was Rogerson, right? That made that tackle? Was it Bliska? Oh, well, I mean, that's 40 tackling then was it actually bliska to get involved, oh I think, by this deep. what the hell is bliska doing at right center back i mean to be fair though the 40s for defensive stats and bliska is doing well man it really is as i say that he makes a dumb pass here's cedric suarez Hey, Batch. Nathan Redmond. Fabian, thank you for the 300, man. Good job adding a sweet note on this bad, bitter game. Yo, much love, Fabian. Tim only career modes are always fun, no matter how bad gameplay is. Kubo, too self, too selfish, Kubo. Kubo, I just, I can't. I'm, I'm, I, I know he scored two, but I'm actually irritated. The only reason he scored two is this game is a pile of trash. What the hell? It makes me feel like such a moron. But seriously, the only reason he's got two is this game is dumb. We're on legendary difficulty with the AI sliders turned up um, for the opposition team. I don't know what is going on. These are the two cheesiest goals I've, I've scored in this entire career mode. 
What is Kubo up to? I can't. I don't know. Yeah, Kubo thinks he's messy. It's just annoying because just what? If, if you can scroll back at least if, in terms of the video, just watch Haaland's positioning. It's crazy how well positioned Haaland is, and he never gets any supply from Frazier or Kubo. They're both so greedy. So. Every once in a while, Kubo and Frazier score goals, but it's frustrating because I swear to God, we could we could score four plus goals a game. Damn, Jolinton's injured. We could score four plus goals a game, but our wingers are so selfish. Justice for Kubo. Wait, I thought Jolinton was injured. Oh God. You can see the manager down there. He's less than happy, obviously. Good recovery team's there. Zoro is such a beast, so man. They're going to get back into this because Meanwhile, Hallen takes a few touches, plays the, the ball. The Nothing crazy. Always including his teammates. Meanwhile, when Kubo, Kubo decides to pass, he passes it right back to the opposition. Now what a bit of what a bit of work there from Bliska to get the ball back. Look at Hallen. He's such a team player, man. Oh. Oh! Ooh, that was a bit better, boys. A little bit better. I need to adjust. Uh, remind me to adjust the attacking tactics too, okay, boys? We're going to put a few more players in the box. Considering my team does not play the ball short, I'm going to put a few more players in the box and hope we can score some corners moving forward. It's good. Zoro! He went for a header? Okay. Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. Here's Cedric Suarez. Pierre-Emile Hoybjerg. Redmond. I want more coffee. I need more coffee. Excellent tackle. And the result is a throw. Job, Calvin. Good well, read. Well Good read. Coming Come on, Zoro. Let's see what you got, baby. Good ball. Don't forget. Don't miss this. The Good coverage ball. of the Premier League fixture. Leeds Ooh. United. They'll be facing Newcastle United away from home. Oh my God, yeah, Bliska. Really that was sick. Bliska. That's what I want to see. Unlucky, and we got luck. Cross is blocked. I stopped him in the nick of time. I'm not gonna say anything. With how selfish here. Ryan Fraser is, why did he not just shoot that near post? What was that header? Oh, man. I swear to God, the decision-making is like watching Zway play FUD champs right now. They're constantly choosing to shoot. There it is. Look at Haaland. Look at Haaland, man. Haaland? I want to yell at all my players and get them to play like fucking Haaland is, dude. Erling does everything perfect. Everything perfect. Poor guy, man. Should have like 10 assists this season and probably 15 goals. Meanwhile, he's on like one goal and zero assists. Not only does he give 110%, look at how intelligent he is on the field. Always makes the right pass and always shoots. Well, okay, no. He's tried some flick ups and some crazy shots, but I feel like he just got annoyed watching the team do nothing. So he tried to do it all on his own. But overall, he's constantly passing when it makes sense. And he's constantly taking a shot at the right time too. Play him inside. Play him inside. Okay. I don't know how that's called as a foul. That makes no sense. Alright, so it's just not good enough, boys. Really just not good enough. I think we're gonna shut up shop, man. I'd rather preserve the, the goal difference. James Ward Prowse. Redmond. Why doesn't it register when you drop to defensive sometimes? See, now I'm back on balance again. This game's a pile of trash, dude. Kubo, please play it to freaking Haaland. There it is! What a save from McCarthy! Oh poor Haaland, dude! Oh no! That's so unlucky. Good lord. 
Okay. I need to I need to adjust the whole team, man. I, I keep forgetting. I'm I'm a I'm a silly Billy. I am a silly Billy. A silly Billy. A silly Billy. Let's bring on Jackson as well to give him some XP. And uh you know what, man? I think we're gonna bring on uh Cunningham. Or Howland. Give him a give him a little bit of a run out, you know? Two nothing up against Southampton? No way Southampton scored two. Bad pass from Kubo. Ca pass could have been better. Yeah, I agree. I didn't want to say that because people are gonna think I hate Kubo. I don't. I just it's the same shit with Ben Rama too. At least Ryan Frazier was cre like w had way more pro production last year. This year, I don't even think Ryan Frazier's gotten any type of decent goal yet, has he? Oh, we're fine. Good job, boys. Look at that. Passing out of danger. I love that. Bit risky at times. Players are almost too confident. Dest is on a run. Sell Kubo. It's a bit early, isn't it, boys? Let's give Kubo a bit of time. Okay. Cunningham. Cunningham's waiting. Okay. Bit of a foul, but all good. This is good. Oh my god, Calvin, the play. There it is! Oh! That's what I like to see, boys! It all starts from Calvin, too. What a ball into space. Adam Jackson, the Canadian Academy product. Let's go, boys. Beautiful. What's with our, our uh, left-footed attacking-minded players scoring headers? Kubo, Jackson. Look at that. Look at this ball from Calvin. That's such a good ball, man. What a pass, too, from Zorro. I love that. That's a that feels like a realistic goal too. What's really nice about this is it just that that's a super satisfying goal to score. Well built. Our first two goals were garbage. They're super you know super cheesy, but that one really really nice. Let's go, Jackson. When Kubo's gone, the team scores a passing goal. I know, right? If Frazier and Kubo aren't involved, the team scores beautiful passing goals. The second Ryan Frazier or Kubo get on the ball, it's just like they hold it on. They hold it. They hold it for so long, like you're playing with a pro club's buddy that's super greedy. I wonder if that's one of their traits, maybe. Maybe like speed dribbler or whatever it is makes them hold on to the ball for too long. I'm really liking Zaracho. Sick player, man. He's got everything you would want. Oof. Nice try. Jolitin is off. Okay, well, good to see it wasn't a serious injury. Because he basically played the whole game. It's a good result, boys. Very, very good result. That, the type of games that we absolutely need to win. I love that. We're in 2021-2022. Second year in the Prem. Howland also has a speed dribbler trait. Yeah, okay, so that's not it then. Because he's so so uh, selfless. Anyways, GG's. Can't believe I'm moaning uh, with that type of a goal. Uh, sorry, scoreline. Dominant game shots wise too. I think we did very, very well. Should have a look at Ronaldo Vieira. It's not a bad suggestion, man. Honestly. There they are. Okay, so Newcastle have Simeone, Yarmachuk, St. Maxim's back. There you go, 83 rated. Shelby and Longstaff, Longstaff up to a 73. Almiron up to a 79. Rico Charles-Sales, De Ciglio, and Dubrovka. Yo, no wonder we struggled against Newcastle. Like, that's a legit pretty good team, isn't it? 4-4-2 flat as well. Huh. I actually wonder if we do what we did to Southampton, where we counter them with our flat formation, right? The 4-2-3-1, but a bit more defensive. Hmm. It's a pretty strong team, man. Smart from Ben White. Kind of set us away, too. Phillips. The attack continues. Calvin. Calvin, inside. Ah, I didn't see it. 
Didn't see it. Okay. Okay. Kubo's gonna shoot. And score! And score! The Japanese Lionel Messi! Okay! Maybe we gotta just let Kubo be a peacock. You know, let him spread his what leaves or whatever you call them. And just let him do his thing. I don't know, man. Maybe we're a bit too critical. Look at the fans up in the uh, uh, St. James Park. The Leeds fans, the away section. Honestly, man, we might just have to let Kubo do his thing, dude. Leaves. Whatever. Florals. Feathers. You know, let him spread his feathers. Whatever the case may be. Uh, Dubrovka probably should have done better there. But let's go, Take. Beautiful. Especially with me and goal. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. No fucking way. What a pass. Are you kidding? Play the ball, Dest. That should be a pen. Kubo! This is insane. That whole play was nuts. Dude, that first time bomb up the field to Dest? This is insane. Oh, we, we've turned a corner in the last two, three, four games, man. That ball to Dest was... I thought Dest held on to it too long. He actually did, though, to be fair. I have no idea how Kubo scored that across body. That is such a hard chance to take, considering his body shape. Look at that. He, like, snapped his body. Wow, man. Okay, Kubo. Oh, my God. I can't I can't criticize Kubo at all for the rest of the month, okay? Phillips. What a ball. Calvin. Oh, my God. One more. Oh, this is beautiful. Near post. Insane. Insane play. Absolute insane play. This team, boys, Allen finally gets a goal that he deserves so much. Why not play the game instead of controlling the goalkeeper? Because this is a simulation-only career mode that we do every single year. And because gameplay is trash. Good goal. Really good goal. Well, Derek, if you don't close down, you don't work hard without the... There it is! Frazier! Bang it! Frazier! Wow! That is such bad defending from Newcastle. Oh, my God. Speaking of Ryan Frazier, GG. Yikes, dude. What the heck? Look at this. Terrible defending from Newcastle. I have no idea what they're doing. All right, let's uh let's shut up shop here now. Bring on some of the the, the young players. Give them. Hold on. Once again, Saint Maxim wasn't being used. We just looked in the team sheet and he was in the starting eleven. Who subs on Saint Maxim in the? Anyways. The AI might be on legendary, but their decision making is freaking amateur. That's for sure. Hell yeah, boys! What a performance, man! What a performance! Kubo, man of the match again. GG. Just a reminder, we Things you absolutely love to see. Look at that. Great performance. Chelsea won. Any surprise results? Ooh, Leicester lost to Everton. United beat Spurs. Arsenal West Ham still hasn't happened. Oh, yo, what's Rangers' stadium called? This will be very this will be a very interesting um game. Kind of excited. Yeah, I'm playing on telebroadcast. Oh, here we go again. The Ibrox. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoying Wait, the Ibrox? career mode. Keep up the good work. Let's go. Let's go. Four, three, three, but perhaps not as we Wait, they're in the Europa it. League. Shouldn't they be in the Champions League? Oh my God, no way. No way! Starting quick! <laughs> Yo, right from kickoff. What the hell? Yikes, Rangers. How did they go from winning the league to being in the Europa League? I'm so confused. What an insane goal for Tyler Roberts. Love that. Beautiful. All right, let's keep it going, boys. Good stuff. If you lose CL qualification... Celtic won the league? Oh, you're right. It was the first season Rangers won. So Celtic won. I guess they got knocked out of Champions League qualification. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Oh my god, dude. Rangers are so open. Cunningham! 
Sweat it, my son! Oh, he doesn't even care! Holy Jesus! The 17-year-old Irishman! Oh my god! I thought he was going to go across goal there. Wow, Rangers look terrible, man. How is this Rangers team this bad? I mean, that's FIFA again being broken, dude. Cunningham hitting that like he's freaking Mbappe, bro. What a player he's developing into. I think Adam Jackson and Cunningham have earned their Nike sponsorship, boys. Hell yeah. He hates Rangers, he does, I guess. Shit. Um, sorry, brother. I'm sure if you go somewhere, I'm sure you'll be able to find people that will happily edit your content. Bang! Jamie Shackleton. Let's go. I don't even need to focus on the game right now. The academy players are balling. Can't you see who's on their bench? No, unfortunately. Yeah, this Rangers is its silly. I do find it very silly that they've got such a weak team. Guess they don't care about the Europa League, buds. Always something to complain about. That's facts. That's facts. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. And the ball with Jack. Good technique displayed. And the referee decides that that's Let's go, boys. Nah, I don't think I'd play ultimate. I talked to career mode uh, uh, players, and they say, unfortunately, like all things EA Sports, they can't, EA don't know how to balance the game. So legendary and tends to start being a bit easy. Uh, once you've got a really good team, even if you do a quick sit, like long sim games like I do. Um, however, ultimate is just a, it's just disgusting. It's, they just play just all the story. broken mechanics, you know, and, and it's just idiotic. So what other career mode guys that know better than me have said is you just play on legendary if you want realism and then you bump up the AI's sliders by here and there, right? To make them more aggressive. And if you find legendary to be too easy, you just bump up the sliders the way I have. So you have the Man United's, and, you know, having, you know, scoring good goals against you and all that stuff. Or, you, you, wait, what? Oh, whoops. Do you have any advice for Rangers? Yeah, I think it's great. I, I think the way we have the sliders, every game is unpredictable, is unexpected, depending how the teams shape up, depending on how our players play. The the the, the results are um, are no further question. Yeah, are, are perfect. The other complaint about ultimate is it just all the results are boring and the same because just teams just going insane. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, where yeah. can you see your slider settings? I did so annoying showing this over and over again, but. The only, uh, the only things that we've adjusted is this, uh, right? So shot error, we've turned down a bit. Passing error, we've turned down because the, the, the AI is so stupid that you have to turn down the passing error. But we have the passing speed up by a bit. We have the shot speed up. So they take shots when it makes more sense to do so. Um, injury frequency up. I mean, we can turn this down. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, none of this stuff really matters all that much. Goalkeeper ability uh, is the same. I find goalkeepers make wonder saves as it is. Uh, marking, same thing. Uh, run frequency, right? So to have the AI be a mo uh, more aggressive in the attack and not just <laughs> piss around the ball with the ball and not try and attack us. So we turned up the run frequency. That might be a bit too much, actually. Um, that's probably why we get dominated so heavily by Liverpool and Arsenal and stuff like that. But whatever, it is what it is. Um, line height's the same. And uh, positioning, so fullbacks too, making runs and spreading uh pulling us wide that might be a bit too aggressive actually maybe we turn that down a bit uh first touch control um error that's weird i think it was supposed to be done the other way first touch control error there we go i wanted to reduce it would it be the way it is or first increase reduce the amount of error applied sorry there so there you go that that's the way it should be it could, could be on 50 but we'll pop it to uh to 48 um and then there it is that that's it basically boys Nothing, nothing too, too much changed from there. And in fact, let me save again too. Because I don't want to forget. We're actually well progressed in this, uh, in this season. I don't want to mess anything up.
shot speed makes the shot power a little bit insane apart from that the rest is great yeah and that's kind of where you guys saw bobby firmino score that thunder shot from 35 yards against me first time right so we'll we we essentially concede some some chances like that but i, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing i actually kind of think that's fair right there's definitely the chance of bobby doing stuff like that in real life maybe more salah or Mane doing it another transfer for offer for alioski dear god i'd have to like um block offers on him shot speed means the speed the ball travels basically shot power itself um yeah so there the ergo making it harder for me to save right i don't know if too many people um are gonna disagree you know with what we're doing I think so far it's all good. I think people just look for things to complain about, man, really. I think if you've been watching this career mode and been watching some of the really frustrating results and some of the amazing results and some of the very standard results, I feel like you'd be very happy with what we're doing and how this series is progressing. And I, I would Thank argue a very coming. realistic you. series. You, you know, Wolves and, and, and Sheffield did very that. similar um, to what we've done in our first season in the Prem. You know, Wolves are, and then the second and third season and whatever. So it, I think it's all good. I really do. And I'm loving it. More importantly, I'm loving it. Uh, does your team have what it takes to keep the momentum going? Let's go with that. All right. Well, the crowd didn't like that answer, apparently. Uh, Wolves could also win Europa this year, IRL. Yeah, like, I, I think it's great. I seriously think it's great. We've got a home game against Cardiff. I plan to, we plan to smash Cardiff. All right? For the annoyance they gave us in the championship last season and the season before. There you go. We will absolutely give them no space. We're going to go all out attack. Do you guys want me to go look at Cardiff's team sheet? I almost forgot again. We could. Uh, there it is. That is a horrendous team. Merg, Glatzel, Murphy, Rals, Pack, Mendez, Cunningham, Bamba, Adarbio, Nadalin, and Smithies. This is a terribly rated team. And again, this will be a team that will beat us or will make it impossible. That that's the that's that's why I love the sliders. The way we have them set up. Because there's plenty of a chance of our team not creating chances, and we concede one counter and uh and concede the goal. So let's get into it and see how it does. Yeah, they're playing Aston Villa, aren't they, in their next match? And no. looking at them, Come on. there's Come little on. between the two Holland. sides. Look at what it. Holland is so. No way, this game's terrible. Wow! Thank God. Oh my God, that was the most frustrating 60 minutes of football I've ever watched, man. Having that, having that dude cry at me because we beat Rangers. And now we're struggling with a full strength starting 11 of God players. It irrespective to Cardiff, and we haven't been able to do anything. In fact, Cardiff probably should be one nothing up. Terrible goal. I'll take it though, man. I'll take it. Holland doing it all on him on his own. I don't know why he tries to flick it so much, man. I think he was just getting bored. That was his first touch of the ball. Sixty minutes later. There's going to be a substitution. Honestly, we're playing so bad that I think we go defensive again. And just try and hold on to this lead. I don't think Cardiff will be able to create anything if we're not pushed up the field. Right? We can drop off of get in the box and attacking fullbacks too. There it is. He wouldn't go at 21 years old to Leeds, though? Okay. You might be right about that. You do realize this is a fucking video game career mode, right? That certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. This could be what they call the insurance goal, couldn't it? To uh, make sure of the victory, to turn a one-goal lead into two. And no time for recovery, really, if they were to get the goal. <clears throat> Corner played in. 
That's a decent stop from the I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. Dead game, but perfectly proving even further that our sliders are perfect. We barely got a win against Cardiff and probably deserve to draw or lose, so I'll take it. Three points are three points, though, boys, no matter how ugly the game is. A strong team is a team that can win games like this, so let's go. Definitely was a cheesy goal. Two points ahead of Spurs in fourth, boys. Come on. Oh, whoops. Let's go look at Bournemouth's uh, squad first. Damn, I keep forgetting every single time. Import team sheet. Uh, there it is. Okay. Awful born 68 rated player. What? Kelly, Niakate, Mefam, Stacy. Daubry, Diawa. What? That looks like a terrible team. Holy. <laughs> Alright. Where is David? He's injured. He is, uh, has a torn ACL. look for sides that can shock and surprise i think it's fair to say leeds united fall in that category performing above expectations oh this is lovely back at him back at him there it is oh it's beautiful halland is so unselfish man love that dude look at this things have got to change on both sides off jumps over the defender too and there you go we trusted in ryan frazier give him another chance and at least he's getting a goal there he did fire that at the keeper which is pretty poor from him but nevertheless good goal son good goal against his old team yep he didn't celebrate though did he hopefully he didn't show bournemouth some uh respect Oh my god, what the hell? Eh, Nick, this isn't realistic. This is not a realistic. I don't like this. You should really jack up the sliders and play on ultimate. <laughs> Damn it! A oh, full born. Fair play, dude. Good goal. So a level contest. One one. And now we really wished freaking Howland would take some shots instead of constantly passing it. Phillips. Yawara yellow. What? What is that? Again, we're just why do we play shit against the shit teams? And we have like games of our lives against the the, the good teams. Makes no sense. Very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League Dude, if we want any hope of Champions ESTD, League football, we have to perform here, Aston man. Yeah, Derek, should be a great there it is. Baracho, terrible. There Just awful. You. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. No way. No. No! Oh, God! I'm fat. Oh, God. Dude, how? Ah, uh -huh. How are we drawing to Bournemouth, dude? Oh my god. We almost lost right at the end there, too. Eddie Howe feels bad, man. He probably should still be at Bournemouth, too, to be fair to you. GG, Bournemouth, man. What a performance. This is getting ridiculous. I thought with that first goal with Frazier, we were going to crush Bournemouth, dude. <sighs> this is too easy. <laughs> Can we go play Fall Guys, bro? Can I go play Warzone Season 5? These games are stressing me out right now. I blame Kubo fully there. We should probably take him out of the, the team for the next game. That was awful, man. Turn down injury severity. I, I don't, I'm just going to leave it, man. I'm sure you guys are dealing with the same thing. All right, let's go for it. Quick sim time. We, we, can, we can afford to drop some points here, so... It's a home game. We probably still have a better team in our youth setup, so let's see. Maybe Mathis, our goalkeeper, is the biggest issue right now. Not the highest rated player. Come on, boys. 
All right, I'll take a 2-2 draw. Funny, it looks like Rangers fielded a stronger team this time around. No injuries, and a draw is okay. Not, not exactly what we wanted, but better than nothing. Do you miss Cooper and Rose, Nick? Lol, no. Allen grabs October Player of the Month. Really? That's interesting. Okay. Kubo up to an 80 rating. God knows how. Frazier for Scotland. Bliska. Uh, Zaracho for Argentina. Okay. Off on international duty, I guess, after this game. West Ham up next, boys. West Ham up next. I want to have a quick little look, too. Because January... I mean, obviously, January is not... It's not there yet. But it is coming up. Now, more than ever, we need to make that move for, for Alfonso Davies. Um... Wait, could I approach to buy... If I approach to buy him now, would we get him in January? <gasps> Wait, what? We can do it right now? What's the offer, dudes? What's the offer? 20 mil? Think that's fair or do they walk away? 20 mil at left back is a bit silly, but let's see what they say. 24 mil and a 15% sell on! Oof! No sell on. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because honestly, I don't plan to sell them on anyways. Go 22, see what they say. 24. 24 6 for Alfonso Davies. What are we saying, boys? What do you think? I'm going to try one more thing. Because I think you guys make a good point. I'm constantly against sell-on clauses. They're not a bad thing, especially if I'm not planning on selling. 21.7 and 15%. Twenty mil, eleven percent. Ha ha! Twenty mil, baby! Let's go, Alfonso Davies, baby! Wow! The benefit of PSG having three left backs. Okay, we got to negotiate weekly wages here, boys. Come on, Fonzi. Good stuff. All right. Meeting up in Vancouver, Canada. Oh my god, he's on 48k a week. Uh, crucial squad role, of course. Fonzie! I'm so excited! Come on, dude! Uh, five years. Hopefully he's okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, no release clause. So what do we- what, what would you be offering him? What would we be offering him, chat? 50k? 40k? Do you think he walks away from 40k? Maybe a nice signing bonus? 500k? I bet you he walks away. What the hell? They just He's so Canadian, dude. He just took it without even arguing. I love you, Fonte! Let's go! <laughs> Beautiful. Dude, I would have paid 60k, man. Easy. Easy. Champagne Poppy getting himself banned for a third time. Go suck your mom, dude. All right. Let's go. Beautiful. I'll take that, man. So we get him in January? Officially. Alfonso Davies, dude. To Leeds United. Is it a thing? Can it still break down by January or no? Oh god. We just gotta survive two January, boys. Two more months. 
Two more months and Fonzie joins the team. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Maybe someone for Ryan Frazier might be a move too, boy. So I feel like West Ham, based off of their team, I forgot to look at the team sheet because I'm a batch. Show you guys real quick. Um, I feel like West Ham should be a much harder team. Way better, but they've got Calabria and Masuaku. I think they're both in their mid 80s. Haller, I think, is 80, like 5 or 86 nowadays. Yarmolenko. They've got a dope team, right? So considering how much we struggled against Bournemouth and, and uh, maybe not Newcastle, but who else did we struggle against? Um... This should be a team where we really, really struggle to beat. But, for some reason, I would assume our players will show up. Yeah, you can still use Nick2018 uh, for a discount. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. They have Tenali on the bench too, which is crazy. I don't know how... Um... The display alert command should be there i'm not directly partnered with this plate right now but I, i've i've asked to keep my discount code so like i'm not being paid to promote display in any way but i believe in their product that much that um you know the link should be there for you guys hot news from anfield alamacanale it's a goal for liverpool eight minutes played Oh my god. Rogerson, why are you backing off, you twat? No, bro, I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. We're gonna bottle. We're gonna we're gonna arsenal fourth, dude. We're seriously gonna arsenal fourth. This is not good. They're gonna shut us down too. They'll bring on Tanali at halftime and close everything down. What is Rod Rogerson just go for the ball? You gotta help out Ben White. How is he oh my god, what am I doing right there? with this advantage. So. Oh, the, those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. I'll take a late draw. I'll take a late draw. I'll take a late draw. I beg. I'll take a late draw, please, boys. keeper's done well to keep that one out. Yikes, dude. Yikes. This is... Whatever, David Moyes, you twat. We just got Moyes, dudes. I can't, man. I, this is insane. This season has fallen apart, bro. How are we not able to get goals with players like Haaland and all these... I shouldn't start Kubo, man. Again, that, that chance where he's missing the pass, I, I really shouldn't be starting Kubo. Arsenal drew as well. Oh my goodness. How is Kepa higher than 70? Yeah, where's Mason Mount? Exactly. Great question. <clears throat> you can search for the team in transfers. <coughs> Would that be better to do? To see stats? I might do that then. 99 agility. God damn, my son. GG. Okay, so... As we saw from the team sheet, they definitely weren't fielding their strongest team, at least in the team sheet. So the team does look quite a bit better. Uh, they've got Mason Mount in the setup, and they've got Mukieli. That's a sick backline. Moreno, Dendonker, Mukieli, and uh, Reese James. Kepa, Kante, Tiago, Mason Mount through the middle. Other than Vasquez and Vela, that's a pretty sick setup, I would say. So, let's see. This could be a really, really rough Vasquez month here, boys. <laughs> Moreno, Lul. Yeah, I guess, I guess Pulisic is gone. Or where the hell would he have gone to? That We should go look. Oh my god, Tammy just fucked Calvin Phillips up, dude. We're not looking good, boys. We're not looking good, man. Why 
right. Phillips. Phillips. And now it's Phillips. Well, the fans enjoyed that. Is he on side? Please be on side. Play the ball into Halland. Play the ball into Halland. Halland! Yes! Let's go! Dest to Halland! You take Halland off target, man, and he's immediately in for a header. Let's go, boys. Great suggestion. Of course, right? Struggle to do anything against fucking Bournemouth and West Ham, and here we are, one nothing up against Chelsea. This game makes no sense, man. No sense at all. Kepa, 85 rated my nuts, dude. That's so bad. I mean, that is hard to save. A low-driven header down to the near post. He probably well, he still should have done better. Lampard's not that happy with it, though. That's for sure. The opening goal of the game, then. Kepa, a.k.a. Kappa. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. Alan? It's a goal for Arsenal. 12 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Kepo is at least coded right. Alioski. Saracho. And now it's Phillips. Matias Saracho. I don't know. What, this is much more enjoyable to watch right now. I will have to say that. Ami getting bullied a little bit by Ben White. I like that. Oh, when he gets fouled for backing into Ben White, too. This is on Legendary with uh, updated CPU AI sliders. Mount. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. I feel like Legendary is almost too easy without adjusting the sliders a bit. Given away by Chelsea. So we got a good balance now. now they're on the scent of something positive. Play him, play him. Love that run from Kubo. Pass, Kubo, you oh twat. Oh it's a pen. Work, I'll take it. I mean, good job, Kubo. You did great there. <laughs> He's been admonished by the Sam, thank you for the four, dude. Mookie Ellie. Wow. Never mind. Kubo, Kubo knew what he was doing. My God. Who takes it? That's our first pen of the entire season, boys. Ryan Frazier. Oh, God, no. Why is Helen not on it? Ryan, I swear to God. Nah, I nah, no, no, Ryan, no, I can't. Oh my! You're off. That's it. I have to do it. I ha this is un this is beginning to to be unacceptable. I he's got to go. He's got to go. I think we're gonna make a move for Ryan Fraser through the summer, man. We have to. This is getting nuts. Why is he taking our pens anyways? Why is Helen not taking our pens? Haha! <laughs> Dude, that would destroy you, confidence-wise, man. Miss a pen and your coach subs you off 22 minutes in? Oh my god, bro. 2 nothing against Chelsea would have been insane. The thing is, is he sent Kepa the wrong way, too. Phillips. Phillips. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Yeah, it was Jonathan David on that, but I, until he comes back, we'll, we'll have to switch things. This is... Yo, Dest is balling, man. To be fair, I like those runs into the box. It leaves us susceptible to the counter, but Calvin and Ben White seem to cover that. Nah, we're going we're gonna to concede here. This game blows. I'm sorry, dude. Ryan Frazier's never featuring for the club ever again. Make the save, and it's just a tap-in right after. Well, let's see that, again. It's a decent save that might be Chelsea's team, only chance. Of course. Oh, my God. 72-year-old Carlos so Vela, man. Contest. Heartbreaker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to actually rage. I'm going to rage. This has been the worst... Four performances from Kubo and Frazier I've ever seen. Frazier, never getting back in the team. Kubo, I'm tempted to sell too. I don't even care. I, I might blow up the team. Oh my god. Please catch a ball and just catch it, you twat! Bro, what's happening? I swear to god. I swear to god, Ryan Frazier. I'm sending you back to Scotland, dude. I swear to god, if we concede here. 
Bro, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely horrendous. Just so bad. So yeah, but there it is. We drew. Due to Fraser being a batch. All right, just a couple of questions for you. Low price, right? Uh, Harry Martin loaned out. <gasps> yes! Jonathan David's back from injury? That's early, isn't it? The medical staff has cleared Jonathan David from injury so he can rejoin the first team squad. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Ryan Fraser, piss off, my dude. Piss off. We're going to restructure the team now. Um, it's up to you to see to ease him back to action. His chance he'll aggravate the injury. Uh, we might risk it, man. We might risk it here, boys. We're lucky enough where we've got our Europa League game up next anyways. Ooh, Midtjylland. Good to get a result against them. What is Ryan Fraser? I swear to God. I swear, dude. I don't know what the hell this message is going to be, but I'm pissed already just reading part of it. I wanted to say I was a bit surprised to hear that you wanted to sell me. Yeah. Oh, he's happy about that? See, he's not leads through and through, dude. He's not leads through and through at all. Okay, thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Uh, Leeds United perceived the better team. Stay focused. You defeat Midland again. Lads have what it takes. And there's some top performances recently. I think we can do even better as well. I'm on, boys. All right, that's well, here's hoping we get no injuries because this is going to be a quick sim again. We still can afford to drop some points. Second place goes through too, so I'd rather go first, but come on, my boys. Come on, my boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Please. Yes! Let's go. Fucking Rogerson injured? I swear to God. It, it's not an ambulance, right? I think if it's an ambulance, it's a long-term injury. My, one of my only center backs just got injured, bro. I can't. This is insane. This is actually crazy. I think we're okay, though. It'll be like a really, really short injury. Two weeks is not short at all. Hey, man. Two weeks is better than two months, but... Now what? Calvin Phillips can play at center back. No problem. Three star, four star. So let's swap it around like that. Um... So Jamie Shackleton there and Jonathan David is still injured so we're gonna play one more game dudes okay one more game and I'm actually going to um, believe it or not risk injury again and we're gonna quick sim it this is a home game so I'm a bit more confident with the quick sim here I don't normally like doing quick sims just because I'm really enjoying watching the games but I want to restructure the team with Jonathan. David, let's go! Howland on two goals, too. Kubo finally getting one, the twat. Good stuff. Nice 3 nothing win there, boys. That's huge. That is huge. There you go. Back within three points of fourth. And I really don't want to be fighting for freaking Europa League again. All right. I think we might have to go... What the hell? What is happening over there on the right side of the screen, dude? Dude, why is Tyler Roberts forever staring at us? It's freaking me out. He really wants to play. He's trying to get in the team, man. He's on the pitch! Look at Tyler Roberts. He's literally standing on the pitch. 
What in the sweet shit is this game? He's actually... What is that? Bernard. Okay. Wait, if I pause it, does he come off? Anyways, you guys know what our starting 11 is. I'm going to quickly show you go, uh, you guys what the Everton team looks like. So, Chiro Mobile and Sandro, Bernard, Delph, Besic, Bolasi, Berchiche, Connolly, Pennington. Their backline sucks. I didn't see what their subs were, though, unfortunately. But more importantly, Tyler Roberts is a 12th man. And the players are running past him, too. Oh, my God. Is he going to hold them onside? I'm fine. I'm not mad. Oh, Halland! Oh my god, Halland wants it. Okay, or not. Love that. No. He's not even wearing the right shirt, for God's sakes. Well, we've got a goal to Love that, Jonathan. From the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Leicester City. <sighs> Eight minutes played, 1-0. Oh, hey, let's go, Leicester. Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. It really is shaping up to be a fantastic season. So much I wonder if he'll be there all game. This is going to be hilarious. Well, we haven't got to the halfway mark yet, but I do hope it continues in this fashion. So close. Oh, time to get the cross now. Please! Good save, Lossel. I think Pickford finally got cut after all his terrible games. Played into the middle. Only partially away from danger. Again. Oh, this is good. What in the hell am I watching here? Let's go. White. Good position for the cross. Well, we're definitely even holding more possession right now. I'm not really doing much with it, though. To Halland. Halland Zaracho. Oh, my God. Pablo Hernandez would have seen that, dude. Coming in from the flank. Dangerously. Sheffield United in action today. And from their match... We've heard that there's been Why are they playing Martina? I don't know what the hell this Everton team is, and I don't know what Tyler Roberts is doing on the field right now. Oh, no surprise there for City. Leroy Sané scoring. Beautiful. It's just a double bounce. Fabian Delph. Yannick Bolasi. Good job. Fucking Tyler Roberts, dude. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. Get out of the way, bro. Please. Come on, boys. Everton are so deep, man. They actually have all eight players inside the 18 and just leave Sandro and Immobile up top together. This is disgusting football, man. And then they've got fast build-up, and now they're going to score. I hate this game! Ah! We're fine. He's still on the field! Look at him! <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, my God. What is he doing, bro? The best part is players have to avoid him. It's not like he's invisible. He's actually there. Oh, play it back. Oh, Jonathan, you take a touch. Helen's making the run. Ay, ay, ay. Bro, this is kind of freaky, man. I don't like it. I think we have to restart the game, boys. Love that. Trying to find the opening. Love that. One more. So One more. Sure. No. Yo, even Zaracho's playing like ass now. David. Jonathan David, it's okay. Just coming back from injury. Love that. Love that. Zaracho! Let's go! Good play! Right at the halftime marker, man. A little bit of 45th minute cheese or almost 45th minute cheese. Bro, Tyler Roberts on the field is the creepiest thing ever, man. In case you guys are wondering, he's still there. Yeah, you can see him. <laughs> you can see him right over here. So creepy, dude. What the heck, man? 
Oh my god. Great finish. Four star weak foot OP. Lostel's already made a couple of good saves, so GG. Hey, hey Tyler! You okay, dude, over there? You alright? Freaking everybody at Everton out, just standing there in the wrong kit, not moving. Fabian Delph. Chiro Immobile. Bernard. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. He's just going to be there forever. And here we go. The referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Read that well That's with the poor. Interception. That's poor from Jamie Shackleton. Good recovery, Alioski. Very good. That's cut out. This is the weirdest thing ever. News coming in of a goal in the Sheffield United match. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a second goal oh. for Manchester City. Let's go, Calvin and Kubo fucks it again. again. We're gonna concede now. Here's Chiro Immobile. Well, that's not a problem. Good recovery, Dest. He can deal with it easily. Good recovery. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Oh, it's good first half performance from him. And not just with the late goal, which was really important to get his team ahead, but everything he did was nice and sharp. Try and sub him on. I don't want him on the field, though. That's the problem. I got to keep him for Europa League. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Everton, they'll be facing Aston Villa away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Nice. I don't think this formation's working this either. <clears throat> either, boys. In their next match. Might be worthwhile to just go to a 4-1-2-2. So two two. I don't know if Kubo and Bliska are really going to do that well as box-box box mids, but... Trying to find an opportunity. Kubo? Oh, time to get the cross now. That's actually... This could be an opportunity. <clears throat> well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Giro Immobile, Fabian Delph. Sheffield United in action today, and from their match, we've heard that there's been a goal, and to tell us which team it's gone for, it's Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 64 minutes played. Good job, Alioski. Back here again, thanks to Alan Sul. Sule. Well, the cross could come in here. Coming inside. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. Well, they are in the lead, and they are on the ball, but in their own half at the moment. Good. The build-up is patient. This is lovely. Alan actually didn't see the pass back to uh, Ubo. Kubo. Now that's a throw. So everybody wants to know what happens here. Here we go. We're about to find out. Uh, Jackson on for Kubo as well, and Taylor on for Dest. Coming off now. Let's see. The winger who's had. A decent outing. Has will he? Some that, how crazy will it be? There he is. Oh, he has, and he's got will he be on the field still? Is the question. Many times this uh, this match, well played. Some. He's still on the field. There's two of them. Tyler Roberts and then Tyler Roberts. What the hell? Alan, no! How are you not playing the pass? Uh, position. Man, honestly, boys, I don't know if Helland is the player for us. I really don't. Loving the career mode. We've spent so much money on him, but I don't know if he's the player for us, man. Good interception there. If Kubo did that, Nick would be screaming at him. I mean, I literally just raged at Helland. I don't know what stream you're watching, my guy. I just basically uh, insinuated that we should be selling Helland. Patiently passing the ball around, trying to make a chance. Oh. Well, then it goes. Well, got to keep I think we go need to go back to a 4-2-3-1 and Jonathan David. But it didn't this time. 
Um, Jonathan David goes back as our, our Canadian R9 focal point. That's when we were really balling out, man. I don't think we're going to finish better than we did last season, and we have a much better team. And the only change, realistically, is that Jonathan David hasn't featured, right? For the whole season. So... Alan, you're killing me, man. Killing me. Absolutely killing me. Terrible performance. I don't know what to do, boys, but I am not happy with this team at all. Uh, hopefully, we can hold on to a win here, but... Here's Matthew Pennington. Not great performances. Mohamed Bezic. We've got two added minutes. Let's go, Alioski. Good job. Good job, boys. Let's just hold on to the lead. There it is. GG. GG, boys. GG. Terrible, terrible performance by our front five attackers. But really, really well done by the defensive line. And really well done by Tyler Roberts and Tyler Roberts' twin for featuring on the field at the exact same time together. Absolutely insane. Um, it's not good, man. I don't know what's going on. I I, I think we got to go back to a 4-2-3-1. That's a terrible formation that we chose. Absolutely horrible setup. <clears throat> horrible. All around. I, I don't know, boys. I, I might make a big money move for Haaland to get David up top and, and we make a big cash purchase for a central cam this January. I'm just, I hate to say this, man. I feel like in real life, obviously it'd be a totally different thing, but Haaland is not working out for us. He's really not. He he's just doesn't play the way I want my strikers to play. It's really weird. He's very one dimensional. He's super clunky. He He's very good at getting into position, but then the teammates around him don't even feed him the ball when he's in position for tap-ins. So it's just, it's weird. I, either that or he doesn't make the right type of runs. I'm not entirely sure what we're looking at. Kubo is now defending. Yikes. Oh, big mistake though there from Kamada. And never mind. And the defender takes care of business. Bro, nah. It's not lost on them. Nah. Nah. Thank you, Calvin. What a defensive play. What a defensive play, dude. This is by far the worst we have played since we started this series. I'm not even kidding. We have some of the best players we could even possibly get right now in this club. And we are playing worse than we were in the championship. I, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we're, if Rogerson is the issue, he's out. So it like it, it, with all the team is playing in different area. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if bringing in Halland has caused all these issues because Halland is literally doing nothing. I, 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 can, I, I cannot believe how bad Halland is. He started super promising the first two or three games of the season with all those runs into movement, touches, passes, whatever. Bro. <sighs> I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know what the hell we can even do. Am I blind? Oh, he is. Good. Okay. Let's just see. We've got something very similar to what we had before we picked up Halland. Uh, I, I just need, I need to, I need to see. I need to see if Halland's the problem. It's going to be harsh on him if, if we perform here, but what, what, what horrendous performances from us. Absolutely terrible. All right, I don't know if that I was just seeing things, but that that Sheffield squad looks terrible, which of course means we're gonna lose. Five of the back, so they're gonna have at least ten players behind the ball. Um, other than Berg, I don't know anybody else in this entire team that's even remotely good, unless you guys see someone that's good. I don't know. Even the goalkeeper, I don't even know who the goalkeeper is. All right, come on, boys. Please, we need a big performance here, man. Big, big performance. Brian Fraser back in the team. Come on, brothers. Please. I want, like, a nice 2 nothing, 3-1, 3-0. That type of a win, man. Something, like, that brings our confidence back. Might help us decide on what we want to do here. Individual quality coming to the fore. Jonathan? They the oh my god, Jonathan David, what a pass. One more. 
Oh, oh what defending by Gellin. Okay, we're looking good early on. Come on, boys. Bliska, who even is that too even? It's offside. Oh, no, he's onside. Good ball, Dest. Dest is sick, man. Calvin? Calvin? Yeah, yeah. Play him! Play. How? I'm so mad. He went for a shot there, for God's sakes. Uh, this is... I don't know. Yes, we picked up from Ajax. There's Dest again. One of our best players this season, easily. Bliska, love that beat! Oh! How much better are we, though? Seriously! Do you see how good Jonathan David is, man? As like a focal point striker? He's so hard to predict, man. Oof. Over it comes. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And they'll have to throw it. Haaland would score that? Haaland wouldn't even be in that position, unfortunately, man. I, I I do still think that Ryan Fraser and Kubo are awful. I don't don't get me wrong. Kubo has like a flash in the pan bit of brilliance here and there, but overall he's horrendous. Decision making is a joke. Come on. Play him, play him, Ryan. Fuck me. Holds on to the ball so long the whole play breaks down. This is good. David. Jonathan. Love this. Jonathan. We have, I mean, to be fair, we probably should be scoring that. Great play again. Once again, I feel like I don't think Haaland has ever created a chance and had an opportunity from that type of range. Play him. There it is. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm going to, I hate this game. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Corner kick played over. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Now Rafael Silva. And they are on the move again. Saracho. Matias Saracho. Jonathan David. I mean, that is pretty good from Keeping Kubo, to be fair, and pretty bad from Jonathan David. Oh, now man. Oh, we're about to get countered here, big time. Can they take advantage of the situation? Where's fucking Bliska? He should be the one covering that left side, man. I have him set up to do that when Alioski makes runs up the field, but he's nowhere to be found. He's got high defensive work rates, low attacking work rates, and he's nowhere to be found ever defensively. Okay. Wow, Jonathan David, what a touch. Space afforded him. Okay. Okay. Dangerous looking attack. Okay. Pure ball control. Bliska. And now it's Phillips. No problems grabbing home. I don't know. I feel like we're a I don't know, maybe it's because uh Sheffield are, are playing a super deep style of play, so it's giving us a lot of opportunities, but I do feel like we're playing better. It's just no change in terms of uh, lack of scoring, unfortunately. The electronic board has been helped. Lacking in direction. Unlucky Zaracho. Yeah, defender just put him off a little bit, but it was worth an effort. If he goes in, he's a hero. Better get with it. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Come on, Jamie. Still Bliska's stamina is horrendous. 
very tense battle so far. And now on, the boys. second half is underway. Saracho. Jesus, man. Pass, really. First thing Jamie Shackleton does is cough up possession. God help us. We are a shadow of our former selves, man. Passing it around. I Looking swear to God, we've been infiltrated by like some 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 con artist, ball. dude. This is not the Leeds United I know, man. This is ridiculous. White. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Sheffield United facing Aston Villa. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day. What in the fuck is this fucking game. Scottish fuckwit doing, man? Seriously. What is that stupid ant-looking motherfucker doing on the left side of the field, man? I'm so irritated. Oh, cool, and we got Arsenal up next. This is going to be great, dude. It's Leeds United facing Arsenal. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Phillips. Jonathan David. Dude, Dest is by far the best player this entire fucking game, and I have him on stay back while attacking. Dest has been the most positive going forward, doing his best to create chances, and he's the one player where I want to stay back. Shit is madness. It's absolute fucking madness to me. We're gonna lose to goddamn Sheffield, aren't we? Possession changes hands, the interception there. And that's an important intervention. Wonderful chance! Okay. Well, Derek, I really thought the stats would be better than this. I'm not enjoying it too much at the moment. Surely one of the players should have had two goals in the first half, man. And try and win this game. Should have had two goals in the first in half, the right man. Really. Intercept. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Kangin Lee. The recovery. Well, sometimes you can't argue with top-notch defending. I think we got to. I mean, we got to try. We really got to try, man. Let's see. See if Hallen can come on and make a difference. This is your chance, Hallen. This is your chance, my man. Fraser. Saracho. Oh my God! This play, though. Oh, he's offside, of course. I was about to compliment Ryan Fraser. What a wasted opportunity that is. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Berger with it. Plenty of oh, wow. Momentum here, but can Dest did get rocked there a little bit. Good job. It's really good recovery, damage. Dest. Matias Saracho. Players waiting in the middle. Here it is. No. Oh my god. Saracho actually had a pass there. An unforced error, you've got to say. Come on, boys. We create one more chance. Six. One more good chance here. Helen's fresh, boys. Play him in. I swear to god, if Helen tries to cross. I this just well, this is so infuriating to watch, man. And a substitution in the offing. And over comes the corner. White. Matias Saracho. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Well, it's been a frustrating Good tackle, Calvin. Really good goal. tackle They're from Calvin Phillips. Terrible pass from Zaracho. I, I mean, this has been the deadest game ever. Other than the first 20 minutes where we created so many chances, but then didn't score. We've now brought on Halland to try and save the game, and he's literally done nothing. Teammate. Come on, Halland! Please, prove me wrong, man. He's tried to cross the ball more than be in position for goals. What is up with my Haaland? Why is he broken, man? I swear to God, if we lose this. 
Someone help me here, dudes. That's the final game of the uh, uh, of the of the epi for me, man. That's it. We're going into Christmas in the worst form I've ever seen. Thank God, come January, we have a monster signing. Although, it's a defensive monster signing, so I don't really know how much it's going to help us out. But I don't know what to do, man. If you guys have suggestions or ideas on, on, on what the hell we should be doing. I think we did everything right in the first 20 minutes. Jonathan David looked so good back in up front, and yet we still didn't score. Stupid keeper made like four saves. And then what, in the 65th minute, we bring on Haaland, and he did nothing. He did nothing in the same exact role that Jonathan David was questions? in and Jonathan David in the first 20 minutes got four chances created for himself. Allen did nothing against an exhausted defense. Yeah, alioski has been pretty good though, to be fair. Coming back into the starting uh, 11 for the main team. I don't know. I'm lost, man. I think Jonathan David's got to be up top. I think we, we've all known that. I just wanted to give Haaland another chance here. Um, but I don't know. No, no. I can't further. believe that six Thank months you. into signing signing Halland, we're thinking of selling him. And I mean, he was bought as an emergency pickup for the Jonathan David injury, but he just hasn't worked out. And uh, this is where I want to treat it like my own career mode and how I want to do it. I understand in real life this wouldn't be a thing. You wouldn't pick up a player and then sell him immediately after. But I'm seriously thinking about selling Halland. I'm very, very, very heavily considering it. Um, that's how poorly, like the fact that we're still seventh blows my mind. This has been the worst. And what are we five points away from fourth? We're going to be playing for Europa League again. God help us. But yeah, I mean, st statistically, we're actually worse this year than we were last year. And we have a much better team. So we're going to have to make some changes, man. We're bringing, uh, we're welcoming Arsenal to Ellen Road, uh, at the beginning of next episode. I think it's going to make sense to list up Halland dudes. Uh, he's not going to be sold before next episode. So if you guys want to let me know what your thoughts are, what you think I should or should not do, I'm all ears. The best player, the most expensive player on the most wages, and he's doing nothing, man. Nothing. Seven goals in 17 Premier League games. I do not see that as good enough. I really don't, man. I, I honestly, like, it, it, Jonathan David had way better stats. And Jonathan David, back from injury, well, I, he's literally, I think he's played one game, right? Or two games. Yeah. I don't know. I just think we'd be better off putting the money somewhere else, man. Putting the investment somewhere else. I feel like a fraud considering this, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, I can't even sell him anyways, right? You can't sell him within the first six months or a year. Right? There's no way. So we'll have to wait to the summer anyways. That's nuts. That is absolutely crazy. Um, Maybe we can offer him in a transfer? Like in a trade? I don't know. You guys will, you guys will have to let me know um, what and where we can send him, send him off to. But it's just not working out. Um, and I, I want to go, go a different route. I think Bliska is doing okay. I think Ryan Frazier, a new left-sided player and oh wow i don't know i think we keep bliska no matter what for depth but what we could do is maybe pull zaracho into the box-to-box -box role bliska goes back to being a i know he's 82 rated but goes back to being a super sub in a cup game slash uh european game player and we bring in like a what i would hope to be a god tier central cam we already have Alfonso Davies coming in at left back. That's going to be huge. Trust me. The way I'm going to build this team, you could even already see it with Alioski, like the, the 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 runs and stuff like that. It's going to come good. Having a big left sided player and a central cam could be massive, right? That's the that's the super super high potential thing. Whether we bring in an Isco, maybe as a central cam. Or we bring in a, uh, what's his name? The kid at, I don't think he's still at uh, Leipzig or at Red Bull. Uh, Olmo, Danny Olmo, someone along those lines. Christian Eriksen, maybe we make a big signing for Christian Eriksen. Jao Felix, I feel like, would be too nuts. And I don't know what his rating is. But, I mean, sure, Jao Felix, uh, something along those lines. I don't know where Isco stats are. I'm just saying, someone like that. A an established big dog someone that can come right into the team and make a big influence as a as a central central uh central cam for us 
I think that would be great. I mean, it's going to be no surprise right now that Haaland is going to be the top goal scorer, right? 12 goals, Kubo on 9, but realistically, Kubo has, see that to me is not good enough. Kubo has the same amount of goals as Haaland does out wide. And I think Kubo sucks. One of the reasons that shows you that Kubo is not doing well for us, he's got one assist in 17 games. That's horrendous. Can you look at previous season stats? I want to show you guys the type of production we were getting out of Jonathan David. Is there any way I can do that? Show actions. Can we look at previous stats? Is there any way to do that? Team sheets. No, of course not, right? That's great. Amazing. What a stupid game. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, for God's sakes, Ryan Frazier is also playing horrendously, but has more, more assists than Kubo. I'm just not, put it this way. I'm just not happy with the team. Uh, I like what we showed in the first 30 to 40 minutes there. Once we restructured the squad, built it like this, <clears throat> excuse me, the first 30 or, 30, 30 or 40 minutes, I swear, if this was last year, we'd be winning three, nothing or four, nothing. So I don't know if it's because the other teams are, are getting better. Their goalkeepers are doing better. What the case may be, man. Zaracho had a couple of big chances. Um, Jonathan David had a big couple of chances. And the keeper was just, just made three or four wonder saves. I mean, the goalkeeper's 72 rated, man. How? This is the team we just played, realistically. Their only real threat and their real beastly player is Berg. Everybody else, horrendous. Verips, I think, was the guy that played, that started. And he made like five or six saves by the 30 or 40th minute. So, I don't know. I'm all ears. If you guys have suggestions, if you think I should just stick with it and keep this team and keep Haaland in the team and all of that stuff, I'll do that too. I I'm not opposed to doing it. I just, I, I feel like we're gonna we're really going to bottle an opportunity to, to maybe push for Champions League football. I, I thought that that was going to be the case for us. But... It just doesn't seem like it, man. This episode, we've gone from easily being fourth to barely being in the fight for fifth, right? Or sixth, coming up on halfway through the season. So it's not out of touch. Five points away from fourth, seven points away from third. It's definitely not out of touch, especially with the big games coming up here. If we can get a result against Arsenal, we're back in business, right? We're on 36 points. Depending on who Spurs are playing Crystal Palace, so they'll probably get a result there. But Liverpool, Chelsea are playing, so maybe they draw. Big games coming up here. Yeah, the, the, the fact that we've got six draws is just insane. I, I, it blows my mind. The amount of chances in those six draws too, we created like anywhere from five to ten chances and didn't score. All of them with Haaland, right? That's why I'm so irritated right now is the amount of money he's on, the, the quality that he's supposed to be, we should be getting much better production. So I appreciate you dudes. Um, uh, I, I'm very, very grateful for all the support. I hope next episode is a bit better in terms of results. You know, Haaland playing terrible. Jonathan David at least is back. And we've got a big signing in uh, Alfonso Davies, technically this episode. So I'm just hoping that the Christmas period and then going into the January transfer window, next episode can be a little bit better. I love you. I appreciate you. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.